Today we are going to sign our second executive order that deals with the drug crisis that Barrie and other communities across Vermont cities are facing, which is basically the quote unquote bath salts or designer drugs, dangerous chemicals that will impact the users in terrible ways. A year ago, we banned bath salts in Vermont. What the manufacturers of these dangerous substances do is change the ingredients slightly so that your old laws no longer pertain to the new drugs. So today, we're going to sign an order that expands it to 86 additional ingredients. And we're now working on another executive order that will expand it to it will be so broadly worded that we believe it will expand it to any chemicals manufactured for the purpose of human consumption to achieve a high. Here's the challenge. These designer drugs create hallucinations, make the users violent, paranoid, induce seizures, psychosis, and they can kill you. Our message today is very simple not in Vermont. We want the manufacturers of these drugs, we want the sellers of these drugs to know that we will bust you, we will prosecute, we will hunt you down, not in Vermont, it's not okay. It's incredibly important for consumers to know that this is not ingestible by human beings. These are chemicals. They will hurt you. They potentially kill you. To those that are selling them in stores, we ask you not to. We tell you if you do, we will find you. To those that ingest them, we urge you not to. If we find you, we will bust you. This is poison, not in the state of Vermont. Today, we will take further action joining our neighboring states to ensure that we do everything we can to keep Vermonters safe and harm free from these dangerous drugs. When we're uh, being asked for help by law enforcement, by pe people who are providing medical services, by the victims themselves and their families, you know, it's time to act. To the people who are manufacturing it, stop. To the people who are selling it, stop. You have no idea what you're selling. You have no idea what you're doing to young people in this state. I want to talk a little bit about this emergency rule. Uh, this is following up on rules that were filed last year and the uh, manufacturers of these substances are trying to stay one step ahead of us and we're trying to we're trying to stay one step ahead of them uh, the emergency rule that uh, we're going to sign here today and file will become effective uh, immediately upon filing with the secretary of state's office which is where this is going to go uh, from here uh, but at the same time we're recognizing that the uh, manufacturers are still altering the substances that are going in and we're going to start yet another emergency rule process that will be going through this same thing again uh, sometime in the middle of August. Uh, and then the permanent rule process will continue with the usual legislative involvement. Um, but we want to act quickly. This is a critical problem. We don't want to see kids dying in this state from this stuff. And uh, we're going to do everything we can. Uh, the governor's made it imperative. I've gotten the word. Uh, the health department's gotten the word. We're moving this, this process along as quickly as we possibly can, and uh, we aren't going to rest until we uh, have uh, dealt with every substance they could possibly put in these things so we don't see them in the state of Vermont.